welcome back friends in this video tutorial we'll be talking about assisted reproductive technology uh, or which is also called as art so let us talk about assisted reproductive technology okay or simply called as art art okay so what is assisted reproductive technology as the term suggests it helps in the reproduction or it assists in the reproduction reproduction of human being because there are certain problems regarding the normal way of reproduction of human being uh, due to uh, many kind of problem problem in female reproductive system or problem in male reproductive system or sometimes uh, problem associated with diseases like hiv so if these are the problems that are associated with all of this uh, reproduction of human being we try to get some solution of this problem and one such zone of solution is provided by artificial or semi artificial mode of uh, process called uh, called this assisted reproductive technology among this assisted reproductive technology we can see several different way of reproduction assisted by artificial technology okay so let us talk about that we'll be talking about four such different technology for this and we'll be just talking about the basic overview of all those processes because in csi and net they usually provide you what is ivf or in vitro fertilization or something like that. so they just ask you so small questions regarding that so let us look at here so among this assisted reproductive technology so assistance in reproduction in human being so in this case we'll be talking about first in vitro fertilization now first of all before going into the discussion at all we need to talk that why we require this uh, kind of assisted reproductive technology i've already talked that if it's having having any problem in female or male reproductive system or sometimes if we are having any problem in let's say uh, disease like hiv so if if any one of uh, the parent is having an hiv infection there is a chance of infecting uh, the offspring especially if the mother is having hiv it is definitely a chance of uh, for her her daughter or son to be hiv again during the birth okay so for minimizing that minimizing that risk we need to use this help of assisted reproductive technology first one i going to talk about is ivf or in vitro fertilization so let me write in vitro fertilization now in this in vitro fertilization what is going on as the term suggests in vitro means completely out of the cell it's completely in lab a test tube or some other region so in this case fertilization takes place in vitro so in this case what what is going on that if we take uh, let's say a, a, a say test tube for example now in this test tube we are having important buffer solutions or reagents uh, especially the buffer solution of sterile uh, water or something then what we add here we add sperm and egg all of them sperm and put an egg which is matured obviously so in this case the egg is, will be called as ovum because ovum means the matured egg right so we put ovum and sperm here together and in in this artificial medium in this artificial re, uh, container fertilization takes place <coughs> so sperm fertilizes the ovum and then when the egg is fertilized that fertilized egg is taken from this region and this egg is put in it, it is put it in a medium where it it gets all the nutrients for the nourishment of the egg and then the mature egg or the, the fertilized egg is getting the nourishing nutrients from the medium and it is start to grow and finally what it it it, it produces it produces a uh, embryo start to produce a embryo at the very first stage of the embryo embryo embryonation okay so once it produces the matured embryo in the artificial medium we take this embryo out and then we implant it onto the cervix of the mother and we let this grow that is the process of in vitro fertilization we check till embryo formation then we transfer it so <coughs> then we transfer naturally in sorry we put it in cervix okay now second thing <coughs> is gamete intra fallopian transfer or gift is called 
gamete intrafallopian transfer I have a different video on this GIFT process. If you wish to watch it, you can watch it in my YouTube channel. Now, in this gamete intrafallopian transfer, what we know, as the name suggests again, that gamete is transferred into the fallopian tube. Right? Now, the gamete means in this case both egg and sperm, both ovum and sperm. So, we take the ovum, we take sperm, and we put this sperm and egg independently in the fallopian tube. So, sperm. And ovum, we put them in the fallopian tube. So we put them in the fallopian tube, and then we we set for cert certain time, and we hopefully think that the sperm can fertilize one of at least at least one of the eggs because we take in this case many ovum. Okay, that is very important concept. We take many ovum to make ensure that uh, at least one of the ovum get fertilized via this process. And then when when they are fertilized in the fallopian tube, so we are doing all these things from outside and just take them out and then put them in the fallopian tube. Then the process will be natural again. Now in this process is conducted using laparoscopy. It's a kind of uh, new uh, operation technique where laparoscope is used laparoscope is a uh, <coughs> is a what you can say it's a, it's a surgical tool like a tube like tool at the end of it it attaches with a kind of camera it is having certain different uh, scissor like appearance forcep like appearance in different ways to finally operate by looking inside what is going on okay so we can do this here now the and the success rate of this gamete intrafallopian transfer usually is 30 percent it, it's usually 30 percent if we look at another process z a i f t it is called zygote intrafallopian transfer zygote intra fallopian transfer now in this process what we do, in this process it's a mixture of this in vitro fertilization and GIFT. In this process instead of taking gametes independently, we produce zygote outside the body. So again we use a technique or artificial media where we put this egg and sperm. We put the egg and sperm here. So ovum and sperm. And then we allow them to be fertilized. Now once after the fertilization, what they produce, they produce zygote here. And once they produce this zygote, then we take this zygote and we implant it in fallopian tube. And then rest of the process is natural. And the start of the natural process I am taking as this green. And from here natural, from here natural. So from this process, natural process begins after transferring the zygote. Now what is the difference between this Z ZIFT and IVF? That in ZIFT or zygote intrafallopian transfer, we, we keep this we keep this whole setup artificial condition up to zygote level. But in case of in vitro fertilization, we keep this up to embryo level, which is a further level of the zygote. Right? So this is the difference. Now the fourth one and the last one here is intra cytoplasmic injection, right? Intra cytoplasmic injection. I think it's yeah, ICI or something. Anyways, so it's intra cytoplasmic injection. Now in this process, as the term suggests again, we are injecting something into the cytoplasm. And we are injecting what? We are injecting sperm into the cytoplasm of egg. So in this process, what we do, we take out the egg outside, the ovum outside, which is a matured egg, and we take the cytoplasm using a injection, micro injection. 
it's called a micro syringe actually using this micro syringe let's say these are the sperm these are the sperms we deliver sperm actually one sperm at, at this place so we deliver the sperm inside this cytoplasm of the ovum artificially then we transfer it into fallopian tube then the process become natural then it, it will be fertilized then it will be matured into embryo then it will be implanted right so rest of the process remains the same okay so the rate of using ICI or intracytoplasmic injection is almost 20 percent or 18 to 20 percent success rate the success rate for ZIFT is 28 percent almost and the success rate for GIFT is 30 percent so these are the different values of success rate for those individuals who, who, who works through these processes for having a particular uh, reproduction okay so in all these cases if we use in artificial means or semi artificial means because why they are called semi artificial because not all the process is done outside right we are doing certain thing outside then we are using the natural way right because ultimately uh, we use the womb to develop the embryo to mature the embryo into adult not not adult actually child okay so that's why it is called semi artificial methods there are many more methods but these are the major type of methods that are required for CSIR exams mainly and in all these cases if you use the sperm if you use those sperm those sperms all of them are treated sperms they are not a uh, general type of sperm we take out the sperm we look at the sperm count we then modify the sperm so that it migrate and move fast it, it do the job pretty quickly pretty betterly than other sperm then we inject it into the cytoplasm then we use them in IVF or GIFT ZIFT and all these processes okay so that's the kind of process of assisted reproductive technology or art and I hope that's helpful thank you